First up on the show, in the rape and murder case of a trainee doctor in India's Kolkata, an autopsy report has revealed that manual strangulation associated with smothering was the cause of the doctor's death. It also found that the man of the death is homicidal. <laughs> The report of the autopsy conducted on the victim also mentioned that the doctor had 16 external and 9 internal injury marks. Out of uh, the 16 external injuries, there were abrasions on her cheeks, lips, nose, neck, arms and knees. There were injuries to her private parts as well. The report listed 9 internal wounds, including those in the muscles of the scalp, neck and other parts of her body. On the other hand, an assistant sub-inspector of the Kolkata police, who is believed to be a close associate of the accused arrested in the rape and murder incident, appeared before the Central Bureau of Investigation for questioning. While the Kolkata police has suspended two assistant police commissioners and a police inspector in connection with the vandalism at the RG Car Medical College. Meanwhile, the medics have decided against calling off their indefinite strike. The doctors of the hospital uh, stated that they will continue their strike until the Supreme Court pronounces its verdict on Thursday. The doctors are also holding a protest march today from the Ajikar Hospital to Bhavan. Tech professionals uh, in Kolkata have also joined uh, the hospital medics in their protests. And the former India captain, Saurav Gangli, is set to participate in the protest rally against the heinous rape and murder of the doctor in turn, which took place in Kolkata. The Calcutta High Court has also allowed Bengal BJP to stage a demonstration for five days from August 21st. And for the very latest on this, our correspondent Piali Mitra sent us this report. Following the direction of Supreme Court, CISF officials on Wednesday visited RG Kaur Medical College Hospital for an assessment before the final deployment of CISF. Students and doctors of this hospital were seeking for central security cover after the heinous crime of rape and murder and also the violence attack that took place on 14th of August. So students and doctors are happy with the verdict of Supreme Court, but they are saying they will still continue their strike as there are many such things, many such demands which are yet to be fulfilled. With camera person Mintu Boshak, this is Piali Mitra reporting for Beyond. For all the latest news, download the Beyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.